occupation That's what they all yelling But it's gangsta nation The bank is that we selling Our future while the politicians Sit back thinking about the next move To sweat the next million on the backs of our children I'm wrong for telling The story so good that it's never selling No more lies, I can find time in the mind Alright, so here at uh, 404 Glen Iris We've been um, basically canvassing the community Trying to fight for this family's home That has been... Uh, that this Chase Bank is attempting to foreclose on, so we're here, um, or trying to take from them. So we're here having a community meeting. We've been flowering for this. It's basically just an event to bring the community together. Old Fourth Ward is a big space. There's a lot of houses that are being foreclosed on or about to be foreclosed on or in the process of being foreclosed on. So we have this uh, community meeting here for people to basically come out, have fun, grill out. There's a moon bounce in the back. There's families out here. There's music playing and basically for people to come out and have a better understanding of what's going on, to understand um, what's happening to the family, what's been happening in this community, the fact that, bring attention to the fact that Georgia is the third highest in the country for foreclosure rating, um, and basically just trying to build community and support and bring people together, because what we need now more than ever is solidarity and communication and awareness. So that's kind of what this event is about today. Um, hey, I'm Carmen Pittman. My grandmother passed November the 29th. Prior to my grandmother passing, her house went into foreclosure. Two weeks prior to her death, we found out that the house was in foreclosure. People was coming over to show their condolences, and my mom was talking to somebody and letting them know that our house was in foreclosure. And we was just talking, and uh, we just know the next day the sentence was over. And the sentence brought Occupy Atlanta, so they've been capping in my uh, yard for going on. Since my grandma been um since my grandma passed, so I told Tim from Occupy Atlanta, which is in the red hat, that I had a story to tell. I had wrote this story uh, like April uh, 2011, and I wrote it again. So when Occupy Atlanta uh, came, I told them that I had a story to tell. So I've been telling them my story ever since this was going on. The banks gave my grandmother a predatory loan of 300 three hundred and twelve thousand dollars. We're behind four hundred and twelve thousand dollars on this house, but my house not even worth what they want from the uh want from it. Chase owned this loan and is it's US banks that's the trustee of this loan. We've been calling it's it's been a call out. We've been calling them to uh basically ask them why why did they do this to my grandmother? Uh, we, uh, his name is Jamin Diamond, the CEO of Ch Chase Bank. We've been asking, uh, we've been calling him. It's a phone call. We uh, passed out papers for everybody to call and tell him to keep the Pittman, Pittman family in their home. Um, he had, he, they did return, they did return our call, but he said, he said once we was to, uh, once we was to get the dis, uh, the power of a state out that they was going to try to negotiate some stuff with us, but they haven't called back yet. So now we're waiting on them to call back. But until then, we're going to keep protesting and keep fighting for what is right. And that's my story. But it's gangsta nation, the bankers that be selling our future on the politics.